All by myself, I struggled with how to create wealth, and I feared what was in my bank account until I stepped up and joined Laurel's community. And now I found the light in me that was flickering and slowly fading, but now I. Become free at last Because I Come out from underneath Take a good look at me Cause I'm living my dream And now I Can see all I've achieved Once I sat at the big table To be a teammate Millionaire I used to think That my life journey but then I found out it's bigger than me so I invited myself to make an impact on humanity that's when I wrote my sequence plan and I followed the steps and took action now money flows to prosperity and I'm taking the world with me because I found slowly fading but now I have a millionaire path to financially become free at last because I come out from underneath take a good look at me cause I'm living my dream and now I can see all I've achieved once I sat at the big table I believe They say my name came from millionaire old call and now I stand tall and live out loud cause I deserve it all because I found the light in me that was flickering and slowly fading but now I All right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the Millionaire Maker Intensive. Very happy to have you here today. We're going to get started in just a moment with the Millionaire Maker herself, Ms. Laurel Langmeyer. But before we get going, I uh, want to have you all start telling us a little bit about yourself. This is an interactive event. A number of you are letting us know where you're coming from in the chat box. We're going to be using that chat box frequently during this intensive. And so I want everyone to get familiar with it right now. So what I'd ask everyone to do is to let us know in the chat box, one, where are you attending the event from? And two, what's the biggest thing you're expecting or hoping to learn from this event? We have a wide variety of reasons we typically see as we do these intensives. And the great thing about Laurel is that she, because she leads such a wide conversation and such an in-depth conversation, wide variety of questions, answers, and topics can get handled within her community, not necessarily on this event, but definitely within her community appropriately. Uh, so I'd love to have everyone put that in there uh, in the chat box again. Where are you coming from and what are you hoping or expecting to learn from this event? Always fun to see how far away people are from. Do we are international again? Have some Canadians. I think we have some folks uh, overseas attending this event as well here today. Uh, so very excited to see that as well. Going to go ahead and put my throat laws in jam. We're going to do a ton of teaching, ton of great content today, uh, and really move forward appropriately on really changing your aspect and changing your mindset around money. All right, Laurel, if you're there, come live for a quick moment. Say hello to the folks. I am live. I am looking for my little buttons because I just had Steve help. There we go. I found my little buttons. So with all that being said, um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, actually bring Steve live and talk about how to have the best experience out here online. So just like uh, you helped me move some buttons around, what buttons should they move around so you have the best experience? And the one thing uh, Thomas and I, and we'll be introducing you to more team uh, throughout the day, 
is if you need to go take a break or do something, please don't disconnect from the event. Just go like, you know, hit a little like that, hit a little mute button over here. And then just come back when you can. Um, if we have to re-enroll you and bring you back in, it just makes it a little more problematic. So Steve, why don't you give them a viewing experience and then we'll keep going, Thomas. Perfect, awesome. So welcome everybody to the Millionaire Intensive. Uh, here's what I want you to do. There's a couple of you that are on a desktop, you're on a laptop. Uh, some of you are logging in on your iPhone or a tablet. So to have the best experience all around, uh, I'll walk you through a couple of steps. Those of you that are on a desktop, a laptop, you're on a computer with one screen, at the very top of your screen, you see this green bar that says you are now viewing uh, integrated well system screen share screen. Right next to that is a view options menu. It's a little tick mark down. You can click on that. There's two things that I want you to pick on that. Uh, I, the first one is going to be fit to window. So if you logged in and the slides were zoomed up 200, 300%, it's going to shrink the slides down so you can see the full, the full window. And then the second option under that view options menu is going to be side by side mode. What this does is puts the slides to the left hand of the screen. It'll put the video panel in the middle so you can toggle between speaker view and gallery view. And then on the right hand side, you'll have your meeting chat and also your participants panel. Now, those of you that are and those of you that are in an iPhone or on a Android, some type of a mobile device, uh, tablet, <clears throat> iPad, those kinds of devices, you're going to have to swipe left to right to be able to navigate through the screen and then also the gallery view. Now, the last thing, and this is very important, do take a moment right now to change your name to first name and last name. Those of you that are on a computer, all you have to do is hover over your name in the participants panel, hit the more option, and then click on rename and type in your name, first name, last name. Those of you that are on mobile devices, all we see you as is iPhone or whatever device you logged in. So the way to change that on an iPhone and an iPad or any type of mobile device, you're gonna hit the more options menu, which is probably your three little dots that say more. And then there's an option in there that says rename. You're gonna then change your name to first name and last name so we know who you are. Um, also keep, uh, keep a log of what's happening in the chat. If you see a message that is read in the chat, it means that we're reaching out to you privately, individually, and asking you to do something. Uh, for example, change your name or reach out, you know, or a strategist is trying to reach out to you. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we'll also be leaving the chat open only to everyone, meaning that if you try and go and message someone privately, it's going to redirect that to one of the hosts or co-hosts, and we'll not be able to do individual chats. We'll open that up later once we get into the marketplace. Other than that, welcome, enjoy, and we'll go back to Thomas and Laurel. Awesome. Thank you, Steve. And, uh, you know, really excited again to have everyone here. You all learning some amazing content today during this millionaire intensive uh, from one of the best in the business. You know, Laurel is not only uh, nationally known, she's internationally known, uh, financial literacy expert, uh, and has a ton of great stuff that um, she's produced during her career. We, we, we will say decade-long career there, Laurel. Uh, but in terms of just, you know, what she's done, she's a six-time best-selling uh, author, has a, uh, appeared on many TV shows, uh, and there it is. That was it. Make Your Kids Millionaires, the last one. And you know, the other button that we should put on this screen is uh, right around this this one, is this currently is the 2022 Personal Finance Book of the Year from Reader's Choice. So huge yeah. award on this book. Um, and so we should put a little button on there too. You have New York Times up top, Steve, we should put it right down by the bottom and say 2022 in addition to Wall Street. So yeah, we've been crushing it lately. And a lot of people ask, you know, Thomas, what's the difference between this book? Well, this is the, your blueprint. And then for those of you that have you know kids are really you kind of missed it you know I've, I've even told people in their 40s if you kind of missed any financial business literacy go back through what you should have done with between zero and five it doesn't matter that you're 40 you're starting at kind of ground zero so just do the checklist in the book so I just want to point to these are critical books for you to be reading to be in our conversation Absolutely. And with all those books and with all those appearances, again, a wide variety of topics that Laurel's a master at speaking and speaking to. So I believe, Steve, we have a, a video here before the, the old bummer legal, legal slide. <laughs> yep, absolutely. You ready to play it? Let's go ahead and introduce you to the one, the only Laurel Langmire. Yeah, perfect. Thank you.
every small business owner has to have a mentor. A mentor is someone who has walked the path before you. So their job, I think, and I've had mentors since I was 17. That was just a few years ago. Um, <laughs> if you have the intention of becoming an entrepreneur and making money and getting wealthy, then you form your corporation right now. Instead of focusing on what you can't have and the struggles, you focus on what you, you can have. And yeah. so like the illegal conversations I say at home is you don't say what you can't afford, you say, well, how can we afford it? I mean, last I checked, and I always say this kind of funny, but Christopher Columbus did not discover America so we could have jobs. I mean, he discovered it for entrepreneurialism, for freedom, and we have lost it. We lost it from, I mean, generations have lost it. It is time to bring spirit back. I mean, that's where the money's made. It's I want to be a millionaire, and I'm going to change my choices, my way of living, and really get in action around creating that for myself and my life. The traditional financial planning world doesn't work if you really want to be wealthy. The traditional financial planning world is designed that you maybe stay stable. It designs you to make less as you get older. Hi, this is Laura Langmeyer, The Millionaire Maker. I want you to follow me on Instagram. Make sure you turn on your post notifications so you get all my messages. What we talk about in The Millionaire Maker is money makeovers and how do you really recreate. Most people are focusing on debt. What we want you to focus on is creating more. I'd say 80% of my coaching that I do one-on-one -on -one with folks is about their psychology and the way they think. You know, you can run from creditors, but you can't run from your credit score. You really have to get your money working for you. Most people don't know how to invest. They're investing poorly. They're in single digit uh, numbers. Millionaires don't do that. All right. Without further ado, Laura Langmeyer. Laurel, how are we doing today? We're good. How are you? Very good. Very happy to be here. We got a packed room. I know we're going to have more people coming here today. And I always like this event because of the way that you change people's perceptions and mindset around money. So I love this event. It changes lives and happy to do it again. Absolutely. And so let's uh, jump to the next slide and just get this one kind of, I would say, out of the way. It's a critical one. We are just an education company. We are just probably the smartest education company you've ever met because we, uh, you know, how I uh, put this together was in 1996 when I left uh, corporate world and uh, and that being an exercise physiologist for Chevron and doing fitness stuff, I jumped into this by jumping on the Rich Dad Poor Dad team. So I said yes. I jumped. Uh, Sharon Lecter looked at me and said, "You know how to distribute a game?" I said, "If I could build fitness centers on offshore oil rigs, I can distribute a game. I'll figure it out." So figured it out. 1999 became a millionaire, and uh, you know we'll we'll talk a little bit about that because the Rich Dad Poor Dad brand I think put this conversation on the map. I think though. What we have done, what I have done is taken and built a team like that Rich Dad team, but we've got now a team of well over 20, really I have a 28 uh, on my financial resource list for you. Because our collective knowledge is why it feels like you're getting so much direction. And some of our people are licensed. I'm not intentionally, so I can just talk the way I want to talk because I want to teach this in what I call common sense. I want you to get it, day-to-day -day principles, day-to-day -day use. So uh you may uh, feel like we're telling you some things to do. We're just giving you lots of ideas. Once you join coaching and mentoring, we take that further and help you execute it in your life. So that's our invitation to you is to come in further. And we do this millionaire intensive as really a showpiece to say, you know, what does it take to be a millionaire? What's it take to, let's see if I have my little chart down here, right? And we're going to show you this in a minute. Um, like, what's it take to have, you know, the millionaire matrix in your life? How do you put this in your life? So it's a good idea. And a lot of people, um, which, by the way, let's do a quick poll here, Thomas. How did you hear about us? Were you uh, referred by somebody? Uh, TikTok, Instagram, what channel uh, got you to be here today? Love to hear that. How'd you hear about us? Um, and so you can see you've all come from different places just right there, like all these different platforms. Um, so you're interested. Clearly, you got excited and said, I need no more. Now this is our opportunity to spend a day together. Spend as much time as you can here, please. The first two hours are critical. Um, and those of you who really want to and need to learn to make money, the afternoon is beyond critical. Uh, we're going to talk about databases, systems, structures, things you need. 
And really after today, you'll see the overview of everything we can do with and for you. Um, some of the things we'll do for you and some of the things we'll do with you, meaning you have to make those financial decisions. So it's a, it's a very cool way. I have a almost a PhD in adult learning theory. So I kind of know how to put together darn good learning. So uh, enjoy the day, grab a journal, grab so, some notes. You uh, will talk about uh, the VIP in a minute. If you want the replay, um, you can get that for 47 bucks. We'll talk about that in a minute, but wanted to cover we are education only. All right, let's jump to the next slide and begin. This is really our ultimate goal for our clients, right? This is how I've been living for decades, Yeah, right? Where you own a nothing, but you control it all through corporate structure and trust structure. So Thomas, anything you want to add into that? And then uh, Jason yeah. Henderson, who is uh, one of our lead insurance experts, I'm going to have him weigh in on this too. Because uh, he has a little story about the Vanderbilts to say why this one's critical and why that's, you know, what they did didn't work. Absolutely. This is one of the biggest things that Laurel changed. I mean, not only for me when I joined the community many years ago, but just in general, in terms of how you actually become wealthy. I don't want to you know, give any way of the secrets, but Laurel talks about how many pages of tax code there are out there. And it's very specific. If you know the rules to the game, you understand that you need to own nothing and control everything to actually become wealthy. And that idea of how to play the game, how, you know, what to know and how to put that to advantage to you is really one of the core ideas of what we have in this community. And so Laurel's, Laurel has this great document or this great graphic she shows uh, is going to show you later about how you're going to turn your life. It probably feels completely upside down to you all, but we're just going to show how to view it from the other side of the lens. Laurel talks about, you know, the, the job lifestyle versus the corporate lifestyle. And it really is key to understanding how you become successful. Uh, and those who don't get that lesson, how they have a harder time becoming successful. Jason? Yeah, awesome. Thanks. I'm always delighted to be part of this event and this very thing right here. I often question whether people do this because they're wealthy or they do this to become wealthy. And Thomas already kind of answered that. It is one of the gateways towards becoming very wealthy and then preserving that wealth. I want to tell you a story about two families. One's the Rockefellers, it's on the screen, and also is the Vanderbilts. Cornelius Vanderbilt in the late 1800s passed on at the time was the largest inheritance editor. In fact, it was bigger than, there was more money in that inheritance than what was in the U.S. Treasury at the time. It was massive. His son did okay with it, however, um, and they were very opulent and they had no idea how to pass it on from generation to generation. Three generations later, they had a family reunion at Vanderbilt University and there was not a single millionaire in the group. Now contrast that what the Rockefellers have done and how they have followed this own nothing and control everything. Generation after generation after generation gets more and more wealthy. They become more wealthy for the fact they follow the path that's supposed to do it. And you're going to learn that path today. Let's go. Yep, absolutely. And we're going to teach you. I mean, we're going to give you an overview. As far as getting it done today, you're going to make a decision about getting it done. And then we start a journey together. So the Millionaire Maker is a three to five year plan, just like you chose to go to university for, uh, you know, some of you could get it done. Like last year, I had several one year millionaires. I had 18 month millionaires. I had 14 month millionaires. So because of the recession, the opportunities for those of you who really step in and really want to understand it. See, right now, there's a lot of you, especially if you come from like new social media channels that like this sounds like a darn good thing to do. We're going to we're going to tell you kind of what what the steps are going to be to get it done. If you really are serious about it, and then those of you who are serious are going to lean in further and say, "All right, I want to join the community. Let's really get to it. Let's roll up our sleeves," because down to fixing your bank accounts is how far we're going to have to go. We're going to have to get down to fixing your bank accounts, how you use credit cards, how you do your corporate credit, how you've done your funding. A lot of foundational things are not. That's use that is what I say. Usually, where we start ninety nine percent of people don't have it right because you're following the internet. I call it the bathroom wall because anybody can write anything. And then you're trying to say, well, what's real? What's not real out here? And I think after uh, you're with us for a few uh, hours today, you're going to clearly see we are the real deal. We know what we're doing and we have done it now for decades. We're the longest standing mentoring mastermind uh, group 
uh, ever ever built in the space of education. Um, you know, most of them went up and went down for maybe two years, three years, or they changed their name or they changed their structure, um, but had uh, annual fees. And we don't do that. We have a one-time lifetime deal and let's get to it. So if you're serious, we're serious. And uh, let's jump to the next slide. So that kind of sets this up. Are you interested or committed? So interested is like you're here, right? So you're, we know you're all interested or you wouldn't be here. What this now is about sorting who's really committed, who really wants to raise their hand and say it's February 2nd. I've already, I'm going to say this harshly, but you all get to know me. I don't filter. Uh, I've wasted 32 days of this year so far. I came into 2023 with these big, grand, audacious, I want to lose weight, the two biggest you know, resolutions in the world. I want to you know, get healthier, lose weight, whatever that language is. And I want to make more money or do better with my money. And in this kind of environment where you have so much volatility to be out there by yourself. And I'm just serious. I mean, how many of you would actually be like, be honest and say you're, I shouldn't say scared to death, but I was going to say, you should be scared to death. If you're in this environment and you aren't talking to people like me, like people on our team, like Jason, um, like, I mean, you know, I could just keep going, Kelly, Danny, Weldon, Randy, uh, Justin, uh, Jesse, if you're not talking to the lead teams out here about what to do in this economy and how do you live through them and how do you navigate getting good real estate deals, we're about to go through the coolest, interesting, high-level foreclosure market we've probably seen ever in our lifetime because it's so different because of what got created demographically. So if you're not in a conversation and leaning in, you're not committed. Like commitment means I'm going to learn this. I'm not going to, I don't want Laurel. I'm not going to, you can't, by the way, park your money and, you know, pray. I'm going to do something with it. You have to make it. You're going to make decisions about how you and your family want to live. You're going to make decisions on the legacy of your family. We're going to talk a lot about it for hours and hours, maybe even days and days, uh, years and years. And then as things come about, you're going to, uh, uh, you know, add, modify. Like, I mean, Thomas came in as the, in our 100K program. So our 100K are those of you that are entrepreneurs who want to make your first 100,000 or an additional 100,000 and new income somehow. Mm -hmm. So he started there, then moved to our big table. And then, uh, I mean, maybe you want to give a little insight to that. I mean, Jason, you came in with all six kids and they were all, you know, some of them even adult kids. But Thomas came in and then started having kids. And every year <laughs> with a new kid becomes a new issue, which means you got to be talking about it. Like, what do you do? How do you employ those kids? How do you structure your generational wealth for you and your family that you make decisions? So we are here for the committed, not really the interested. You can hang out for free on YouTube for the rest of your life and hope you can put it together, uh, read the books. But if you're serious, you're going to walk in a little farther and say, I'm committed. I want, I want this lifestyle. Thomas, you want to kind of share about that lifestyle? I mean, you and I have been together for what, almost 10 years? 12 years. 12, 12 years as a student. Yeah. So I committed to Laurel and her organization in 2012. So 11 years coming up on 12 here. Um, and I knew I needed to do it. I was running, a, I, I had a business, but I was not a business manager. And that's what a lot of you are, or some of you are in this room. You've got a skill that you're good at that skill, but you don't know how to run a business. And that's why programs like the 100K Challenge and some of the business acceleration programs are perfect is because we help you understand that you don't want to create a job for yourself. You want to create a business. A business is an asset that you can sell. A job is something you're stuck with. So I worked with Laurel in the big table, or excuse me, I worked in the 100K Challenge first. And during the first year before I met Laurel, I made a measly $13,000 doing websites. And after my uh, time, by the end of my time in the 100K Challenge, uh, we were doing that, we were averaging that each month. And now our next goal, which we're getting close to, is going to be doing that each week. And it would not have been available, it would not have happened had I not met this community and worked with Laura. What was really interesting is that I had the opportunity, and, and some of you will do this in the big table, um, my company and Laurel's company partnered for years to do some work. And that's another concept that she will teach you later, right? I never worked with Laurel. I was never an employee. My company did contracting work uh, and then uh, was able to join the big table and, and learn a little bit more about this conversation. But I never would have had those results had I not gotten serious and really put it on myself to be committed to making it happen. Because, you know, it. I love, I wish Randy was here because he has the best way to say it, right? Sitting on your couch going Maserati, Maserati, Maserati is not going to manifest the success that you want. You have to go out and get it. And that means you have to be committed. And so that is our that is my 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 wisdom to you all is that you can do incredible things in this community, but you got to be ready to roll up your sleeves and get stuff done.
Absolutely. Um, here's, let's go to the next slide. It's kind of all in the same conversation, who this event is for and who is it not for. We, the reason we put it here is some of you are higher level. And so we want to address those of you who are higher level, who, um, and I'm not saying higher level just because you have made a lot of money or you have money to invest. Uh, for those of you who have huge tax issues, you have a larger family, maybe you have a family business that's made six or seven or even eight figures. We get a lot of people who, again, are here just because they've met us and they want to know. So we have very advanced training. I mean, I've made you know, nearly a billion dollars. I've done hundreds of uh, businesses bought, sold. The collective knowledge is enormous. So remember, this is a free introductory event. So this is not where you're going to get all the goods. You're going to get the goods at the big table or in a private coaching, you know, arrangement or mentoring arrangement with me, meaning like get on a whiteboard and draw out your plan. Do we know how to do all that? Do we know how to do? Absolutely. Um, we have, we do three-year tax return reviews, corporate structure, trust structure, Jason can set proper insurance for generational wealth, not what I call death insurance. So I'd say this event's for all of you. I think the way to listen for it, especially you higher level ones, is you know what else can this organization do for me? I think for some of you that need big marketing machines, we do marketing for you. We actually have what's called a rapid marketing system. What's made me all this money and how I generate these leads and how I create this machine, we share completely transparently with you as you move further into the system. Um, for sure, this event, on an on every three week basis so for those of you who need to make money. So as you can see, we know how to put some people in a room and you can be here this afternoon. Thomas, Adam and I are going to show you how to really take a database out of a Zoom room and start selling to it. Not just because you need some friends and a lot of you women, you're out here just because you, like some of you, I can tell you, you've been here too many times. You're already in, you don't need to be here. You come back at three o'clock, get in the marketplace and you'll be here to sell. What you do between now and three o'clock, if you're already a client, you're here. You don't really need to rehear this. You probably have the replay. What you need is a three to six o'clock to get back here and make money in this room. Cause that's when the marketplace will really ramp up. And we're going to teach you how to make money. And then every three weeks, you're all invited, like come back and sell your stuff. Like where do you have a place where, you know, you have a, call it a set stage every three weeks where you can come to a marketplace and make money. So I'd say it's for everyone. If I had an opportunity to be in other people's databases, the way I allow you in mind to make money, I'd be there uh, or I'd send a team over there as well. So I think really it's for all of you. Uh, but for those of you who are higher level, I just want to speak to you. Don't leave and say, well, this is just too low level. You know, I need some more sophisticated real estate training or, um, you know, I've got big tax issues or I've got, you know, I'm, I'm buying and selling, you know, a company. I need M&A issues. We can handle all those, just not here at our beginning millionaire intensive. Um, and yes, we can help with a trucking company. I actually, my uh, soon to be daughter-in-law, probably this summer, um, her family owns a huge trucking company. I've made truckers millionaires. I've had trucking companies, limousine companies. Again, having done this for 20, almost 25 years, uh, there's not a lot I haven't seen. There's not a lot collectively. You know, if I don't have the experience, Jason might have it. Thomas might have it. And again, our community is enormous. Somebody will have the experience in the industry. So we're not industry consultants. We are your lifestyle. We're the foundation of your life and helping you and your family become millionaires inside corporate structure and trust. So with that, let's jump. Go ahead. Laurel's, Laurel often says that your environment will always win. This is going to upgrade your environment. It doesn't mean that it's an automatic. You still have got to work and be committed to this. Yet your environment and who the people you hang out with and surround yourself, that's extremely important. And that's what this and this group is all about. Absolutely. And so let's go to the next slide. So how is this going to work for you? Um, and, I, and, I, and I appreciate you bringing that uh, back in because uh, a lot of you, you write down environment versus support. Environment will always win. We'll continue to talk about that. So for those of you who are committed, right? So how many of you are committed? You say you are committed to having a, a very different life in business and finance and with your family. Just say yes in the chat if you are uh, absolutely committed. And Tarek, uh, don't even, so I'm not even gonna allow you to like downgrade yourself to lowly yoga instructor. Um, I go to hot yoga. I, what you guys do is phenomenal. And uh, yes, you're just not probably, you're probably just teaching classes. Um, there's no reason you can't be a well, well into six figure business, if not seven, depending on what your goal and dream is and what you want to build uh, out bigger. So for those of you who are committed, 
right? Committed, committed means you're going to be here. Look at the little right box up in the corner. It says when you attend today, attending means you're going to be here at least from 10 to four. So you're going to be here all of my teaching points and at least into the marketplace. Now, if you're somebody who, um, here's what I'm going to say about the marketplace. Some of you are going to like, listen to the way we're going to teach you to do it. And you're going to be like, oh, this isn't for me. That's like saying, I'd rather be broke. It is for you. And you need to learn these skills. And until you learn them, you learn them and you script yourself, you cannot build a sales team around you because you don't even have a script. If you can't sell your stuff, how do you expect anybody else to sell it? So we're going to give you a very, very, I'm going to say like in two to three minutes, you should be able to make money once you craft, once you get the skill set, right? So like really clear. So you need to be here. You need to do two strategy sessions. I'll introduce who you're going to do those with in a moment, which means you're going to have two appointments. You're going to have them today, tomorrow, through the weekend, Monday, no later than Tuesday. You need to get two sessions in and fill out a profile. So Andrew, if you would, please put or see, put the profile link back in the chat. So if you haven't filled one out, fill it in. And also uh, go ahead and put the office number because if you're having any challenges, we have a huge team here in Carson City, Nevada. We're in Northern Nevada in the uh, Lake Tahoe, Reno area. And go ahead and put our office line and Terry's email. So Terry will be navigating any of you that need uh, help um, and helping you get to who needs and can help you. So go ahead and put Terry's email and her phone number in. Now, what you get when you attend and you do these three things is you're getting thousands and thousands of dollars and you cannot buy this. This is in our store. There's no way to get this package. This is what we call it our virtual swag bag. Um, and it is our top three things is me teaching high ticket sales. Um, and that's going to be upgraded in the next month. So that's even going to be a better training. So you're still going to have the link. So you'll even have that training. Uh, building, leading, protecting is how to put a business plan together. Some of you want to make money, but it's all here. It's an idea. You need to take your idea into a plan to make it a deal. No one's going to invest with you. No one's going to give you money. Like some of you have no idea how capital is raised because you've been watching Shark Tank, which is an entertainment show, not an education show. Hence why I left Dr. Phil. Very candidly, Dr. Phil brought me into his green room and said, Laurel, you care so much about the education and people getting it right in their life. Like, you know, there's a lot that was, everything scripted. It's scripted. It's exaggerated. I mean, Survivor, I love how all, some of you like believe that that's all true and they really went to an island. Here's how, here's how much TV scripted. I have some women that go on our big table who left the big table one day early. And I said, where are you going? And they said, well, I'm on Wife Swap, the TV show. And I said, you're not even a wife. They said, that doesn't matter. I'm a good character actor. And they're not even an actress. They were just a normal person they put in. So please watch TV with entertainment eyes. Shark Tank and the way they do those deals. Um, <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, and and that, that's not that's not the necessarily way you're going to go run over there and get it. You're going to get it here in a deep education. You're going to get some leadership training with Martha Hanlon, who's one of our longest and top coaches. She graduated with a marketing degree in Wharton. Leadership, she teaches a lot. She's been with our community for very almost the beginning, 2003. Uh, I started the big table in 2001. Uh, and then you're going to get all this other stuff. You're going to get our best-selling library, uh, my work that I did with Bob Proctor, my real estate work, how I became a millionaire. And we will go on field trips. So you'll get a field trip ticket. When we announce that we're having a field trip, we don't have any on the calendar today. Like we may, depending on my harvest, take you to Hawthorne, Nevada to watch uh, one of the coolest and what will become the largest uh, marijuana grow in the state of Nevada. We might take you to Kansas to go check out apartments or uh, we're going to be building this cool country mall in uh, in the Boise market. Uh, very new concept on how to put a lot of cash flow on a project and how to fix it. So we are big fixers of projects. So if you have a mess in your life, we are the fixing team. So make sure you stay here. This is worth a lot. Of, uh, and so we know your time is valuable. So we want to give you back something for your time. And uh, Terry is also the person that you will connect with to say, hey, I did all the things. Can I have my swag bag? And Terry will make sure you get it. So if you're uh, needing anything, always uh, reach back into our office for her. All right, uh, let's meet the team. So uh, what you're going to be doing in these strategy sessions is uh, a gap analysis. So go ahead and go to the, the next slide, Steve. I'm going to introduce a gap analysis. That is in the first three chapters of my Millionaire Maker book. So this is where we get the student profile. So what's different about our profile than any other financial institute is notice that I don't care about your debt or how much money you owe, or your problems that you got yourself into, right? I know how to help you get out of those problems. So what you've done to yourself is the, what I call, so what? You did that. Now what do you want to do about it? So we view your life from, and not like it's disrespectful, so what? 
Like if you say, well, I've gone you know, through a divorce, I have foreclosed, I went through a bankruptcy, blah, 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 blah. You can imagine after 20, 25 years, there's not a problem we haven't solved. I mean, and, and there's not an industry because we've been to all six continents, but Antarctica, uh, that we haven't seen problems. I mean, I've helped people move around in Africa, get banking down in Africa, Dubai. I mean, you name it, we've probably helped somebody in those categories. So don't be embarrassed or ashamed or whatever happened to you. So what? Now, what do you want? What's your baseline? Where are you? What's your freedom day? Where do you want to be? And then you got to look at, well, how am I going to get there? Well, you're going to make money or you're going to invest money. So income and assets is where we focus. Now, for those of you who use the internet, the bathroom wall to, for your education, um, I hope you always all like that. I actually should get t-shirts printed, you know. I don't get my education from the bathroom wall anymore. <laughs> I actually get it from real books, real people, um, not bots. But uh, an asset for us in our category is debt. Like when you use debt, because debt's just the cost of money. So if you could have debt at two and three percent and invest it for nine, 12, 15, 20 percent, why wouldn't you take out millions of dollars of debt cheap, invest it for the arbitrage, become a bank? Now, Jason has another like a more expanded version of how do you become a bank inside life insurance, but like real life insurance. So this is a cool process we're going to take you through. And a lot of you. Again, back to that interested and committed conversation, you're going to be like, yeah, I'm really, really committed to doing this. And then what's going to happen is we're going to have to uh, atrophy a lot of your knowledge and thinking about money because it's completely wrong, completely wrong. Um, and that's really the, the battle you're going to have with not only our organization, but the learning. It's so different than you're taught. Some of you are going to go through a little angry phase and go like, damn it, how come I never was taught this in sixth and seventh grade? How come I wasn't taught I could know these things? My son just graduated from Georgia Southern. He has a finance and a bachelor's in finance and accounting, two bachelors, getting his master's in accounting his last class and getting becoming a CPA, taking his first test March 4th. March 4th. Still to date would say, mom, the way you put your work together, the way you teach finance and business has never been taught in my school. And he went to some really good. He went to Jacksonville University and George Southern. So I'm not saying that as a bragging thing. I'm just telling you the normal school system is going to teach you this. So you got to lean in here and learn. Now, the team that you're going to be meeting with and have a strategy session with. So Jeff and Omar, if you want to come live. So Jeff, if you want to come say hello. Um, and then Laura has already on strategy calls. So, uh, and then there's Omar. So their job is not to coach you. So don't come to our strategists, our lead strategists. And Laura's been with me for a couple of decades. Jeff's been in our industry for decades. Um, I think Omar's been in the, as a, as a sales profession and a strategist for decades as well. So it's what we do. So uh, they're not going to tell you what to do. And they're not even going to engage in your backstory. They're going to say, what do you want? Like, look at the screen. They're going to say, what do you want in income? What do you want in assets? Are you overpaying taxes? Do you have a company? Do you want a family legacy? That's about all the questions they're going to need to ask. And you're going to answer and they're going to say, all right, that's your problem. Here's the solution. So their job is to help assess who you are and what, given what we do, and whether it's coaching or a mentoring program or even private time with me, their job is to assess how we best can help you given what you've done to yourself. And they might take you on a few uh, projections, you know, of what you got to do. So Jeff, anything you want to say to the folks about a strategy session while you're out here? I appreciate you being here, Omar. Uh, absolutely, guys. I uh, look forward to having a chance to speak with you. Our goal is very simple. Figure out exactly what Laurel said, where you're at, where you want to go, how we can get you there. So you should have already received an email from me. I have texted you and I can tell you from the organization standpoint and Laurel's side, we are fully committed and we're looking for you to be committed as well. So go ahead right now, pick a time. Uh, we will work around your schedule. We'll find the time that fits best for you. And then we'll take the time we need to get you where you want to go. So uh, thanks for attending. And I look forward to speaking to you and I will speak to you soon. Thanks. Absolutely. Omar, anything you want to say to folks? I don't know if you can hear. You're uh, on mute there, my friend. You still got it yet on mute. Okay. Hit the little button at the bottom. Oh, you got a, you're, oh, he's not a panelist yet. So you don't want to unmute, let him come forward. He's saying hello to everybody. Yeah. So Steve, if you want to okay. bring him forward. He's unmuted now. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can go now, un unmute more. There you yes. Go. Yes. So, sorry for that delay there. I had a little technical difficulties on my end. Um, yeah, just like Laurel said it, I think she said it best. Uh, we just want to see where you're at and how to get you where you want to be. Uh, pretty simple. I'm going to be emailing and texting you as well. Just resp respond and pick a time and date and let's go. Let's get it rocking.
And I just put in the chat Terry's uh, information and number and the emails. Some of you have been assigned to Jeff, some to Omar, some to Laura. And then uh, other names that you might hear um, is who supports Omar and Jeff are Chrissy, Lavelle, and Terry. Who supports Laura is um, Justin and Susan and some variation. So they're going to be texting. And Andrew, why don't you rave your, the cowboy hat there? Andrew helped put the, puts the event together, oversees our entire strategy team. So uh, right now, here's what I'd like to just take a quick poll and everybody's like alert. If you still don't have a session set up yet, now we know we've texted and emailed. So check your spam, check your junk mail. And Andrew, if you have any other advice to help them, you've been emailed by one of them. Um, and so, uh, and it wouldn't have gone through Instagram, by the way. So um, somebody, so Liam, thank you for that. Uh, to reply back on Instagram. And just so you know, I am at Ask Laurel. Steve, why don't you put my social channels in the chat? There I'm, we're working to get verified in this interesting, again, world of the bathroom wall. And uh, in the meantime, there are two very fraudulent accounts that are going to take you into Bitcoin, uh, crypto tokens and Forex, and they are not mine. So if you are finding yourself um, I had a personal friend go through the wrong, wrong one. And he called, he texted me personally, like on this phone and said, Laurel, why are you pitching me four uh, X on your Instagram account? I said, that's not me, dude, but get the, get out of there. Um, that's some Ukraine or your Russian company going to take your money and you're never going to see it again. So make sure you're always on my right accounts for it, whether it's Instagram, go ahead and put, uh, uh same with, the uh, TikTok. Uh, YouTube, make sure you're on mine. I have a lot of scam accounts, especially TikTok. There's over 120, 130 scam accounts, and they're going to take you into a buy that is not mine. I'm not in the four. If, and I don't, I don't do any of that. I would never front face it offer into an investment, and nor is actually just so you all know, it's illegal to do that. So if you're, I mean, just again, part of your education with us is just what I call common freaking sense and money. Like you can't legally do those offers front facing unless you have a securities license. Well, you all know I'm not licensed. And in America, you have to know people for 30 days to give them an offer. So if they're not in your database, not your following, your database, and you can't prove it, you are doing illegal activity. So all those people who give you those kind of front facing buy my tokens, I'm not talking courses like coaching and mentoring. I'm talking buy my four, buy Forex, like give me money to invest in Forex, Bitcoin tokens, all that kind of stuff. It's high, high scam rates. So just be very careful what you're doing out there. <laughs> it's really important. Um, so again, back to our strategist, if you have not had a session to, or you do not have a scheduled session with one of the teammates that we have, we have a huge teamwork in this event, please. Uh, yes. And you've been emailed by Terry, you are got the right person. So if it's an ask IWS email, you're in the right one. So tech, just say no in the chat. So we can go back and scroll in the chat. If you do not have a session, just put no. And then our teams will look around. And if they're assigned to you, then Omar and Jeff will then be chatting with you privately. And uh, or Terry and our team will be doing that. So ready team. So Andrew, get everyone on it. So we don't need to know if you have one. We just need to know if you didn't have one. And we'll be asking you that and just take some leadership, call our office. Um, Terry won't be just emailing all of you again. Everybody's been assigned and you, your assigned person will be emailing you. All right. So let's keep jamming. Let's go to the next slide and back into our content, get you set for the day. Every successful person in the world has jumped. So we have three concepts. So write these down, right? And we're going to keep weaving in your environment. Your environment is just an overarching umbrella of how you live, right? Um, and like when I do my beginning of the year goal setting, a lot of people goal set when they're in the coaching space in seven areas. I, I add an area. It's called your physical environment because your environment is so important. That's from who you spend time with. Like how many of you still have the same five people from years and years ago? And you're you're the like you're you're the biggest fish in your pond. It's time to jump into our ocean. And a lot of you, you're tolerating living with people who you're dragging along or you're convincing to come along on this journey versus reach up and say, I want millionaires and multimillionaires to be the people I get to call and talk to. And when you're a client of mine, you get this lovely thing, which is the real bat phone. You get mine. I have three different phones. One is for the whole Ask Laurel business and my financial fitness training business. This one is the mentoring line. Right. So this is jumping in my ocean because how many of you would say yes to that comment? Like you are the biggest fish in your pond. 
like you're you're the smartest one, you're the one leading, you probably make the most money, then I would ask you again, why do you have those five people on either side of you? Like, why isn't anyone in that crew reaching up or having bigger goals or at least setting, you know, percentage growth goals on a regular basis? And if you're still hanging out with those people from high school or college or your first job or whatever you're doing, or just because they conveniently are in your neighborhood, uh, remember the family and friends that you build are not just because you arrived in a cubicle and now you're friends and you don't want to leave your job or just because you arrived in a neighborhood and that's your only friends. Remember, this world is wide open and you reach for who you want to reach no matter where they are in the world. So jumping, being committed, and you're going to learn another word this afternoon with Thomas Adam and I called decided. So uh, when you are committed, you've jumped and you are decided you're living this life, you are ready to be in our world because we work. I mean, our world works. And if you read any stuff on the bathroom wall called the internet, well, the real stuff doesn't work and she's blah, blah, blah. You know what? Invite them. Say, really? Instead of hide behind a comment, why don't you pick up the phone? Uh, I have phones everywhere in here. Terry will pick up the phone. And if you have a complaint, tell me. We're here to help solve problems and help you move into a better life. So let's see if you're ready to jump. I love this video, Steve Harvey. So let's play it. Okay, here's the deal. If you want to be successful, here's the thing you have to do. You have to jump. There is no way around it. You have to jump. Every successful person has jumped. You got to jump. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to dash off that cliff and you got to jump out there as far as you can. Now, a lot of times you stand on the cliff of life and you see other people soaring by, gliding down like a bird flying through the air. You know, they're going over to the south of France. You see them on a boat somewhere. You see their family vacationing here, their family vacationing there. You see them dressing like this. You see them in New York, then you see them in London. They flying by, you know why? It's cause their parachute open. But the only way to get your parachute to open so you can soar, you got to jump. Now here's the problem. Here's the problem, my friends. When you jump, I can assure you one thing. You listening? I promise you this. Your parachute will not open right away. No, that's the fear part. I promise you your parachute will not open right away. You're gonna hit them sides and them rocks. You're gonna tear your back out on them cliffs. You're gonna, you're gonna cut yourself. You're gonna get wounded. You're gonna get some tears and stuff like that. But eventually, parachute will open and you'll be sold. But here's the other caveat. Let me teach you this right here. If you do not jump, I promise you one thing, your parachute will never open. So you safe, but you will never sold. You got to jump. Love Love, love that video. So one of our clients found that online. We've been using it in trainings uh, for a very long time. And uh, if you go to the next slide, again, back to the some of my comments earlier, you know, the rich dad is the why. And the reason that I created the work, the millionaire work, uh, the millionaire maker work and the brand the way I did is because I lived in the rich dad camp for almost five years. And what I saw after every game, right? And if any of you, how many of you have played cash flow, right? Put yes in the chat. If you played cash flow and what you're going to want is I'll put a little camera up there. You're going to want my game. See that game up there on the top right there. It's called the millionaire maker game. And guess what? The playbook is the millionaire maker book. So you take the book and the game, you play them together. You put them at your kitchen table. If it's too big a game to start with, then go back to monopoly, get some refresher, play some cash flow. But here's what happens after really monopoly and cash flow. How do I do it? I still don't get it. So what you're going to see also in the first few chapters of the Millionaire Maker book is how do you sequence it? See, why, why I became a fast millionaire, like I had a lot of great baseline stuff. And I would bet a lot of you have some great baseline stuff going on. But I was out of order. I kept trying to do different things. And again, I had that debt conversation screwed up until my, one of my greatest mentors from the rich dad, you know, the real rich dad, I call him, said, Laurel, you're going to carry debt 
you're probably going to have your kids inherit your debt. And I'm like, what? And I learned about debt. And I'm like, oh, I got this. So I stopped trying to get out of debt and started making a bunch of money. He said, fill up bank accounts, Laurel. You're going to fill up bank accounts and then use that income to buy more assets, to fill up more bank accounts and fill up more bank accounts. So your job is to make and invest money, right? Greatest lesson I ever learned. So when I built the Millionaire Maker, I wanted to be the how. I didn't want you ever to read a book, play my game, come somewhere and say, I still don't get it. And if you don't get it, you're just not connecting the dots, which means you got to lean in and say, help me understand this more because you got to think after 20 something years I've been doing making, I've been a millionaire since 1999. I'm a millionaire, eight industries, eight times over. Um, and multiple times in this one, I probably made the most money in this space as a coach, coach, author, speaker than any other woman in the world. I actually know that because um, I'm about a billion dollars in sales and say, why? Because a lot of choices I made along the journey. And if you choose to lean in and get mentored, I'll tell you how I made those choices. The one choice you're going to learn today is distinctions. I created a distinction. I wanted to be the how do you do the strategies you read about? or you play in the games about how do you do it? How do you pay bills right that you actually get the deductions? Not just go get an entity, use it. Use your insurance right, use your trust right. How do you do it? That's us. Jason, I want you to weigh in on that. And then Thomas, weigh in and uh, let's jam. I really appreciate you admitting how uh, you are a millionaire in, in many different uh, areas. I also want to say though that how many different areas have you helped people become millionaires in there? I, I don't, I'm not even sure that's possible. I meet people at the big table events that, that have gone from very little to a lot simply following this program. It is the how, and that's what's so cool about it. You, there's not, you, you don't get to a point and have a question and become paralyzed. The only thing that's limiting you is your ability to jump and your ability to reach out and ask a seeking question. The questions can get answered. It doesn't matter what area, what you're doing. Um, like she said, been there, done that. And I, I don't know whether you like it when I bring this up or not. However, one of the things that I really, really appreciate about you, Laurel, is you have failed a bunch of times. You have skinned your knees, you know, bruised your elbows. You got your face bruised, the whole, the whole nine yards. And it's, it's amazing some of the stuff that you've been through and you've overcome both personally and professionally. I mean, I admire that. And that gives me confidence and should give everybody else confidence that, hey, that when you're getting advice from someone, it's not someone that's theoretically doing it, that's simply written five books. Those books are based in experience and things that have actually happened. And that's what's so cool. It really is the how. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd like to add to that just because, you know, Laurel, you and I have been together for over a decade, you know, working together and, and as, as a student coach relationship. And a lot of what I've seen is your lesson about sequencing, right? It's, it's not necessarily luck. Uh, so much as when preparation meets opportunity. And so you're going to hear a lot about sequencing, a lot about taking doing the right thing at the right time. And that is a big part of the how as well, too. We talk about it all the time in the 100K Challenge. What are you doing right now that is the most important thing for you to be doing? Because that's going to be your key to success. So the why is good, but Laurel's how is a little bit better, I'd say. <laughs> well, and I mean, I'm talking down to micro in your day. Some of you, you have busy days. You know, Glenn Morshower is one of my dearest friends. And um, he, we're actually going to take some of our recordings and make a VIP product out of it. Just a really cool, if you've never heard Glenn Morshower, just go Google him right now. Go ask the bathroom wall who Glenn is. Um, he was, he started out on, uh, he started his career at 16 years old as an actor. He's 63 years old. He's one of my best friends, literally. Um, and he gives this interesting perspective because he took my word sequencing to, and he added a word called expectation. And, you know, so many of you, you have a busy day. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. How about a productive day? That's like, we have productive days and down to sequencing, like during your day, let's just say I had a dinner, you know, organized with Jason and Thomas tonight and after today, and I don't know, whatever goes, you know, it creates you know, energy in your day. Cause everything creates energy in your day. If you're just not really going to be like a present great guest 
to Thomas and Jason, why, why isn't it okay to say, you know, I really want to have dinner and I wanted to have it when we made this, this, this date, this time to, to be together, but I really want to be present. Some stuff's happened today and I won't be. So I'd like to do it when we can really do it. Notice the reset of the expectation versus, oh, I can't do it. And then they're like, why? And then you tell them the whole story. They don't need to know why. I just energetically am not like, I'll go if you're really going to have like this big, you know, fit about it. Men don't do that as much as women, by the way. I always say, God put me in a woman's body so I could be so direct with you women to stop, first of all, putting yourself down and then making excuses and then, you know, doing all these odd, interesting behaviors that are not helping you be successful. So I want you to really notice your energy, your environment, your expectations, and be okay to reset. Not to like, you know, like we don't do a lot of canceling. We hardly do any canceling, but we will reset and we will move things so it's effective for everybody. And I think a lot of you, you just get in your grind during the day. And most of your days, and I would love a little yes or no, you're reacting to what everybody asks. So the first thing you do in the morning is you get up and you check your email, you check your, your, your WhatsApp, your telegrams, all your social channels, and you're reacting to other people's requests for your, whatever they need. Hey, can you get me this? Can you get me this? Well, you're not everybody's damn assistant. So hell no. no. Uh, so I have a whole team, right? And it's not like those are low level things. And I'm not saying reacting and responding to people's requests is not important. It's just not your job as the CEO of your company. It is other people's jobs or automation that you're going to build in. But you need to get up. Like if you want to have a revenue producing day, say, what am I going to do today to generate? Like you need to get in a generating energy of how am I going to make money? What's going on in my investments that I'm going to check in on and make sure my investments are moving? Like you're in the generating and driving of your life, not the responding and reacting and, you know, getting what everybody else's need. And women, you guys are the worst at it. And, there, and you're on a double-edged sword because there's a lot of you and you're going to say the same thing I do. Yeah, but I really want to help people. So do I, but I'm not doing it for free. My time is high, high value. So is yours. I'm not any different than you. Remember, I'm a farm girl from Nebraska. I grew into this, this human, right? It was always in me. I just had to mature and grow into it. And a lot of you, you're not maturing. You're not growing your capacity to be able to hold more in your life, to do more, to direct more. You want to get, and, and remember, so here's, here's the worldwide problem. It is a worldwide problem. We are all taught to go to school, get good grades, good, go to you know college, get a good job. And, you know, it's all good to live happily ever after. Unfortunately, because of that, call it the, you know, great depression, the thirties to the sixties, seventies era, where a lot of development of our world happened. I call it the Warden June Cleaver era. A lot of you are stuck in there. And your parents taught you, oh, you can't have any debt and you need a job. And if you need money, you better get a second job. If you need money, get a third job. Hell no to all of that. That's like, no, 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 no. You're going to learn to make money as an entrepreneur. The wealthiest people in the world are entrepreneurs. They're not employees. So I'm not saying quit your job. I'm saying grow into being an entrepreneur and then grow into being a millionaire. Somebody said, I want to be a billionaire. Well, first you got to be a hundred thousand there. Then you have to be, you know, worth a half million. Then we're going to get to a million. <laughs> There's a little space in there at 250 called accreditation, which you'll be a credit investor. Now you can actually invest in like the cool stuff of the world. Uh, and a lot of you just don't even know to these terms. Like you don't even know what accreditation means or in Canada, it's called a qualified investor. So there's these, these just vocabulary that's pretty, pretty massive. And I think what I've done, I don't think I did intentionally in my books made common sense. Like, let's just make some common sense out of this. Do you want to You be mentioned uh, Glenn Morshower. You know, there's a concept that yeah. I learned from him in one of his talks in Georgia is pronoia, yeah. which is the opposite of paranoia, which most people suffer from. You talk about getting up and reacting to everything you're finding out, but pronoia is the idea that the world, the universe is there to benefit us. And when you can get to that point and to recognize that the universe is abundant, everything about the universe is abundance and it's ours for the taking when we expect that and grow into it. Wow, what a change. That's the, the reality is that you talk about, well, you got to be a hundred thousandaire first and then a millionaire. Well, guess what? The first, the hardest million to make is the first one. It becomes easier after that. Yeah, because you know, now you understand systems and issues. And so even as an entrepreneur, your first 100,000, because you're framing your world from an employee mindset. So, you know, you got to think about it, like when you go to school, you, you start being in this permission based world, which I'm not opposed to it, but just notice it. Notice that you had to ask permission to go to the bathroom. You had to ask permission to go to lunch. You had to ask permission to leave school early. And then you have to get a job and you have to ask permission to go on vacation. So we live in a world that could that really 
uh, trained everyone to be very permission based. And I'm going to ask you, and we're going to train you as a as a leader of your organization. You got to start leading. Like I'm not your new employer just because you're going to hire me to mentor you, and you're going to come to me every day. Now what do I do? Now what do I do? The books are going to tell you what to do. We've got coursework. We're actually actually repurposing our entire academy into really laid out sequence, even better than we have before. So this is an interesting, your first couple of years of learning to be and leading your life, leading your generational life, making decisions in an area called business and money that you're unfamiliar with. That's growing a muscle. We call it money muscle conditioning. You're going to go on a conditioning program. You're going to read all six books. You're going to do a business plan. You're going to do these things. And all of a sudden, one day, you're going to look back and say, like, I got this. But right now, a lot of you say, I like the idea of it. I don't know how, hence why we're here. The next slide is going to say also a monumental, monumental part of what we do is the sequencing working on your leadership, your, you know, expanding your capacity. I'm not going to say we're going to change your mindset because your mindset is a lack of knowledge. So we're not going to change your mindset. We're going to enhance your knowledge and that will change that. So go to the next slide. Steve. Let's, let's be clear here. Laurel's not going to become your mommy. She's going to become your mentor. And there's a huge difference there. Laurel, I'd like to, to tell us, I mean, you've had mentors and you've even been fired by a mentor in, in, yep. in the event, my memory. And the reason is, you don't respond and do what you say you're going to do. The mentor doesn't want to help you as much. And that's going to be the same case here. You can lean in and you're going to get a lot of help and all kinds of things. You're going to sit here at the head of the table. She's going to show you. Um, but it's, it's, she's not going to be your mommy. You still got to do some work and get in there and get going. Yep. And your job is to learn how to start leading, how to have bigger capacity, how to make decisions based on what you want not what the financial services world want. The financial services world has everything on this table. The problem with the financial services world, which is why I built it the way that I built it, meaning the integrated wealth, live out the, the infrastructure of Live Out Loud, which is the original name. The reason we moved away from Live Out Loud is everybody started using Live Out Loud. And so now our brand is integrated wealth systems. My point is all of these things are in the financial services world. The problem is they're not connected, right? It's not like this. Right, I always use this as an example, right? This is a perfect little Rubik's cube, right? So you know, it's got all the colors put in the right. So this is really your millionaire plan. What most of you have, and I don't know how to put it back together. My son can do this in a minute. So I would have to have him back is you have little pieces, but it's all over the floor. Like you have a little piece of crypto, but it's not tied to anything that's a bigger plan. It's not held in an LLC. So you don't have entity structure. You don't have money rules. Do you need gas and oil? Last night I had a client, which by the way, when those of you are ready for it, you'll fly into Reno and you will go out with like Damon and I were out and uh, he spent most of the day with our lead CPA because he's getting millions of dollars. He's got a massive tax problem, which means he's going to have to have proper investments like gas and oil, aviation, real estate. Like, do you know what cause and effect of behaviors you do. Like it might be cool to be in just real estate or just the stock market, but you might need gas and oil to offset your income. Like there's a plan around all of this that when you put together integrated, all of these things for one plan for you, notice the middle says teams and systems and you're leading it, then you get to decide, well, you know, should I put storage and mobile home parts in my portfolio? Should I do more lending and debt instruments and investing? I don't even know what they are, but some of you probably don't even know what the heck that even means. So we're going to like piece by piece by piece be building your big table and you're going to be sitting at the head of the table. Our ultimate goal is that you are in our big table. That's our community. It's been here since 2001 and it's where the millionaires are made. So this is just a good visual of you know, in the if, like out in the bathroom wall and in the financial services world, everything's disconnected. Like if you go into a bank, they're just going to bank. They might give you a credit card, but that's it. You're not going to, and you might get a loan there, but you're not going to invest in the stock market there. You have to go back over and you're going to have to go to a different financial services company. And then if you walked into a gas and oil team, well, you there's no bank accounts there. There's no self-directed IRAs. There's, there's no tax strategies there. There's just a, hey, do you want to buy gas and oil? And you're like, well, I don't know. Like what, what would it do for my whole plan? I mean, how many of you say yes, if that if I'm resonating with you, like the disjointedness of the financial services world, and now it's enhanced by the bathroom wall, the internet, like you got to be standing there going, what the heck do I do? And that's why I built it this way. You have to be the leader of your team. Our job's to teach you to lead. And then over time, I just put the team together for you because there's so few people who do it right. Literally so few people who do it right, which is why only five to 10% make it. 
And I don't believe that statistic. I think any of you guys can make it. So how many uh, of you- I, I also think that in the financial world, there's maybe multiple tiers here. Yeah, you can find all these that are on the screen there. However, most of the time when you go out there and you get those, you're going to get a second or third tier. And what happens is other people are going to benefit a little bit more than you are. The way Laurel has designed it with you to be in the lead, it's going to be designed for you to be the one that's the, the primary beneficiary of the whole thing, not someone else. Of course, there's going to be people other that, you know, they need to have a living as well. However, it's mainly designed for you. Yeah. Oh, so I might be spelling this wrong, but um, so I'm just answering that question. I said, they said, so how do you prioritize? And I'm just going to Great say, question. Great question. Okay. Absolutely. The mentor and things you'll happen as you lean into, that will help you. It's all written out in Laurel's book. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She already, she raised it right there. Yeah. It's, it's there. Mm -hmm. It's, that's, it's here to help you. Yeah. And, and the difference is in the beginning, uh, you'll be getting a lot more of the team strength and experience to make sure your sequence is right. In fact, we'll be very strong to make sure you don't derail yourself. And then over time, you're going to be getting your own money muscles, right? You're going to be like, I got this. I know how to do this. I know how to do a business plan. I know how to do an analysis. I know how to do a cash flow statement. Like over time, you're going to learn it. Like I didn't know when I started all this, I just knew real estate and I knew gas and oil. Those are my first two millionaire categories in 1999, hit one and then hit two both that year. And then as we got into 20, like 2003, four and five, I'm like, I want to start flipping companies. Like I want to be, and this is before Shark Tank even gave us a name. It's like, I always want to buy like a local little pizzeria and flip it. So I did. And I got a little hair salon and flipped it. And I was like, okay, I, I love, I love service-based businesses. They're, they're pretty easy to fix. And then when text marketing came out, it was even easier to fix restaurants. I mean, we've been texting in my restaurants since 2004, five and six, like when texting as a mass marketing tool came out. And by the way, the best marketing tool today is postcards. So what are we back into? We're back into like a whole postcard thing. For $97, you can send unlimited postcards as part of your marketing strategy. We do it too. So we stay way ahead of the curve. And to your point, Jason, I've had mentors my whole life. I spend money every year on new teams, mentoring, guidance to keep ahead of all of you, number one, uh, but also just keep you really up to date with what's going on and what's relevant. Uh, where a lot of communities don't do that. They just have online courses and they're three years old. And uh, by the way, here in 2023, uh, looks nothing like it did in 2020. So whatever you were taught then in 2020, 2021, during the pandemic may or may not be relevant today. Hence, you got to keep with the community of what's relevant, what's today, and be excited about it. Like, be excited about it. If you go to the next slide, I think Jason's mentioned it. Uh, and I appreciate your acknowledging that's true. Uh, we struggle as leaders. We'll struggle. You're going to struggle. We just don't quit and we don't fall down with failure. You're just not going to fall down. You're going to get a little bruised. Say, oh, that was rough. You know, um, I spent five years fighting for my marijuana project in, in courts, battle, you name it. I mean, most people would have laid it down. Most people, like most people, and I said, no, I have a high grade problem. So I knew I had a problem, but it was one thing I needed to fix the problem. And it took me five years to do it. And now we will have our most amazing harvest and, and just extraordinary project. But some, and again, it was because I got mentored and I got mentored and I got mentored. And my greatest people said, don't lay down this project. It's too good. You can fix it. We'll help you. And that's who we want to be to you. Like you fixing a problem by yourself. Why? Like to me, that just seems so... First of all, lonely, uh, odd, like when you say you're a solopreneur, I think suffering, like you're choosing to suffer staying out there by yourself. No one's a, 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 one, no a self-made millionaire. You're a team-made millionaire. So you're going to lean on other people's experience. You're going to lean on our Rolodex. You're going to lean on uh, ex experience is the number one. So we, we are hopefully avoid costly errors in our journey with you. Uh, things that I know, like authors, speakers, trainers, I should be everybody's coach. I'm the only person, literally, tell me another woman outside of Sharon Lecter, who wrote most of those dad books that have had five New York Times and now a big Wall Street Journal and a personal finance book of the year. Like we know how to do coaching, mentoring, speaker training and marketing of those in our sleep. And Steve and I'll be talking about that uh, in the next hour or so and helping you get your systems right. So you actually have real systems. And uh, Will, yes, I'm glad you're here. So Will's one of our newer Big Table members. Super excited that you are here and back again learning because this is just such a journey of new content, new information and new behavior, right? That's really what's got to change. How you live your life every day, unless you're close to us who are millionaires and multimillionaires, 
you have no idea what we do, how we spend money, how we write things off, how we go to dinner, how I travel to go see my son play football. Well, he was my real estate business partner. So I saw my, I did it as a business trip. I didn't just go see my son. I went, right? And he's uh, now working in Congress. So Thomas, you'd love this. So we're, he's uh, invited us all. We're going through a big congressional, my daughter, her friends, whole bunch of us in April are going to go to DC because he's working in DC. He's got access points that most people don't have. So again, nice. you don't see my business partner. There you go. <laughs> and his sister works for the company. And so the other business partners come along. So I want to teach you to live this corporate life. So let's get there pretty quickly. I have a 